Pisces, welcome to your reading. Um, if you're ready to meet your spirit guide, there is a link in the description below to take you on a journey to the Temple of the Masters so that you can meet your own spirit guide. Without further ado, Pisces, what you need to hear right now, it looks like in your past, it's like in your past, there's like a little bit of a love interest that happened. It was the two of cups. So it's more than just attraction. There was like a little bit of a coming together. It kind of looks like the other person was the queen of swords. And that's the person who's just not the most loving. They're just very clear, very direct. They're more focused on like clarity and you will do this. And so sometimes it can be controlling. I don't think that's the case in your situation. Um, but so like, even though you like liked the love, it was like, a hmm, this just, this just feels so like harsh, so cold. I know they love me, but I want to like feel it softly in my body type of a situation, Pisces. Um, cause you got the three of wands there, which indicates that you're like, this is good, but there must be something better, right? There must be something better. And I'm so clarifying card. Oh, it's cause the person appeared like the queen of wands. So they appeared passionate about life they appeared um okay and what the spirit guys are saying right now is like pisces this is your lesson about not judging a book by its cover not accepting the first three times you see someone as who they are after like the second or third time you interact with someone then you kind of start to see more of the real them it's this person was just not rehearsed in a manipulative way but this person was prepared the first time or two that you saw them. And so now you're just seeing the real them. So it's more about a lesson about you not getting your hopes up completely like, oh my God, she could be the one. I was manifesting someone uh, positive and she was really positive. It's more like, a, oh, this is a person who might be that match. I'm intrigued, I'm curious, let's get to know them more. Show me who you are. When you adapt those ways of thinking and viewing your dating life, Pisces, that's when it's gonna get smoother and easier for you. And it's, yeah, dating is fun when you approach it that way show me who you are who are you let me get to know you what's it going to be like going to a baseball game with you what's it like hearing your stories after work um okay so in terms of the now you got the eight of wands the hair font and the seven of swords honestly it's kind of like uh i'm ready to be married i'm ready to be in a committed relationship But you like, you know this one isn't the one. The, uh, okay, there's a couple of messages here. You're just like, you know, fast energy, fast action. I'm just ready to be at the end goal. I want to be married. I want to be happily, you know, in a committed relationship. Um, but there's a part that's kind of like, I don't quite think they're the one though. There's also a, but I don't want to feel like I didn't get the best that I could get. I don't want to feel like I you know, married someone that got duped. Um, but guys, like, this happens, like, just because you marry someone, it's almost guaranteed, probably, that right after that, you'll be like, oh my god, there's literally my dream guy, okay? But the gelling, the even though you meet someone who has all the oh my god my partner has 90 of the 100 things i wanted this person has all 100 i got cheated i got duped i didn't wait out long enough right no it's you don't know how you'd interact with that person though you don't know if it'd be like in three dates they wouldn't want you so it's like it's almost as if there needs to be a little sense of appreciation for the consistent energy and time that someone brings into your life and like appreciate that person and give that more credit than someone who has all the things, but is like in and out of your life, or who has all the things, but isn't ready for a relationship yet. Um, Cause it's, it's appreciating, it's appreciating the like gelling of the two of you together um, instead of fear of missing out. That's what's stalling your love life. Um, okay, so what else do they need to know about that? Any more clarifying cards? Yeah, it looks like you also have another fear in there, Pisces. Fear of um, not being included. Fear of the other person not having your back. Um, there's just a lot of fears here. So law of attraction, 
I get that I feel afraid and I'm ready to be in a beautiful relationship. Universe helps shift all of my mindset, all of my energy towards thoughts that help this come in. I'm ready to feel better about this topic. And then you're going to be like drawn on this, this like series of epiphanies that need to happen. Um, cause it's not really a perspective shift that you need. It's not some deep searching within. It's not some, I need an epiphany, even though I, okay, whatever it, cause you got the hanged man here. So you're thinking like, it needs to be a deep, insightful thing when really it's just about embracing that you want the Ten of Cups. Like, I'm ready to feel emotionally fulfilled, content, and satisfied in my relationships. Guide me to the, even though I have these fears, universe, guide me to an emotionally fulfilling and satisfying and contentful relationship. Um, okay, so it looks like going into your future now. You got the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Five of Swords. Gosh, Pisces, this is like not the most warm, loving relation, uh, reading for you. It's it's kind of like if you want that emotionally fulfilling relationship, you got to be the emperor, not the knight of wands. You know, because the knight of wands is still kind of youthful. It's it's not adolescence. It's like a twenty year old man, you know, who's still like, yeah, I could go accomplish anything, do anything when I grow up. Babe, come with me come with me on my adventures, you know, whereas the emperor takes on responsibility of the other person. Like, and that's what a relationship is guys. Like uh, when you're in a healthy win, win one, where both people feel like they're winning, it's a, uh, your well being matters to me. So I can't be happy unless you're ha happy. So guys, if like, this does not apply to toxic relationships or people who can't be in healthy relationships. Um, Right? Because if they're like a codependent or a narcissist, you don't want to take on their well-being as your own. But that's like like a, a relationship when both people can manage their emotions like well enough. It is like a, yeah, I know what I know what she needs emotional support on and I can do that emotional support from her. You know, and maybe every time you go to the beach, you're like, no, I know my babe really gets like the ick about the sand. So I'm going to hold her hand as we walk through the sand. Like, so I just want to be clear for all the people who are out there, but you don't know what it's like in a decent relationship. Okay, well, first off, yes, I do. <laughs> Second off, this doesn't apply if you're in a crazy relationship, okay? This is just your growth, Pisces, to get to that emotional fulfillment. It's when you're ready to, like, I need you to feel good in order for me to be good. And that means the other person, if it's healthy, win-win, is going to be that way about you, too. Okay? Um... Because you're essentially leaving behind this like win at all costs. No, I must win. And how that like plays out in relationships is when it's like a, no, they need to show that they like me. You need to come visit me. You need to come visit me. And the other person's like, but I've been to your house three times. And you're like, well, how am I supposed to know that you like me if you don't come to my house? Why would I go to your house? I want to feel loved and like you like me. And the other person's like, but I've been coming to your house all the time. It's like, like I need, what about me feeling loved? And you're like, but I need to feel loved. You need to come here. That's not that. It's like you're. It's like win at all costs, and it's it's one winner, one loser. It's like I'm the pursued, you're the pursuer. Like that doesn't feel fun. And even though someone might enjoy that at the beginning, there still has to be this, this phase where it's like, a, okay, we see each other, we like each other, we want to be there for each other. Um. Yeah. So is there? Okay, it looks like there's some clarifying cards. Yeah, because essentially there's just a little bit of a clarity of like uh, when you meet someone. Um, it's it's not about finding that person who's just like the perfect fit. They fit right in and like they don't need anything out of me. It's more like when you see them, you're going to be like, hey, what they need out of me, I can give. Like that is doable. That is manageable. Maybe it's even something like that would actually energize me. Um, you know, it, like I can think of a personal example. I just remember I was, I was spending the night um, with some family friends and I just, the first time I was there, I was like, wow, that was actually really nice. I didn't have to make two meals for myself. Like, I'm, And they looked at me and they went, oh, oh, you're single. Oh, so you have to make all your meals. I'm like, yeah, I make all my meals. I, was, I didn't have to make dinner or breakfast. And I just saw the guy go, the next time I went to stay over, 
it was a, hey, I know you got to call Kelly, but I'm going to have your breakfast made for you, eggs and bacon, right? I was like, what? So like, that's the example. It is energy and effort to like make someone breakfast, right? Especially when it's a different breakfast than what everyone in their household ate. And he was still like, that, that's meaningful to her? Just whip it up some eggs and put some bacon on a thing and let it done, right? So when you see this person, going to be like, that's what's important to you? You just want someone to like work out with you three times a week and you, okay, I'm in, let's go, babe. It's Wednesday, get your gym bag. I already got your water ready. And she's gonna be like, babe, thank you. I wanna go to the gym so much without you. Like, so do you see how it can actually like be loving and feel good to like, it's, it's you being conscious of what that person needs, wants, likes. Yes, I can do that. Um, so it's gonna feel like that instead of like a burden. Um, and then once you kind of, recognize that mindset shift and see someone who it's that's what they need and want but you're gonna be willing to put the effort into relationships um okay Pisces, Pisces at least it did end on a positive note you're gonna through all this you're gonna be a okay relationships are worth it and you're gonna find a person that's worth the effort that's worth the maintenance of maintaining a good relationship um all right so love you lots if you guys want a personal a personal reading that's where I channel the spirit guys and you talk to them directly they always start with a general message for what you need to hear and clients always say I know what I think I needed, but I actually got what I actually needed. The spirit guys just get to the core of the issue within the first couple minutes, and then the rest of the session is solving my problem, and I have my plan ahead. Um, so if you would like a personal reading, the link for that is in the description down below. If you're ready to meet your own spirit guide, I put together a free meditation to take you on a journey to the Temple of the Masters. The link for that is also in the description down below. Enjoy your month.